Over the Irvine Show. But once they started transitioning to girls, it's like everything was competition. Like, turn a family apart, they're turning. I don't want to come in there, 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 Who's better than who here? She thinks she's better than me when she really not. She's more than me. Ladies, ladies. You said, wait, you keep saying ladies. This is a gentleman. Look at the gentleman. Look at the dress. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, look at that. 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 She's trying to twerk me. It was like, oh, she'd be like this. She'd dance like this. I tried to twerk, but I barely got to the threads. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. And I'm Shay. And we are the Wood Twins. Yeah. Okay, where are you from? We're from the DMV. Okay. So, how old are you? We're 21. Okay. And you both are identical twins. Yes. yes. Yeah, can't you see? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, what makes you guys different from other identical twins? Well, we are transgender twins. We are transgender Transgender meaning you were born male. Yes, yes we, but we prefer female. We're female now. Her, her, and her. Don't get it right. Don't get it wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been transgender? So I've been transgender for I was trans. I started in ninth grade, and so I mean probably like um, about seven years. Now. Yeah, about six, seven years. Yeah, yeah. about six, seven years now. Okay, so yeah, six years. It's six years from twenty-one. Let me ask, ask this question for people who may not know. Okay. So, what is the difference between being transgender and just being a gay male? Transgender is more so of like the hormone type, yeah. the everyday lifestyle of waking up feeling like a woman, hair yeah. when you go out, makeup, nails, feet done. Being a gay male is more so even a cross dresser that just dress up in girl clothes one minute and then the yeah. next day he's just been a male and we don't play that shit. No, not the fuck at all. No. Okay, so do you consider yourself gay? No, no, no I'm no. a woman. A woman. Woman. That's okay. pussy. Woman. Push. Okay. Fish. Woman. Okay. woman. Okay. So you said that ninth grade was the age that you decided to yes. turn. I wanted, to yes, ninth grade. I came, I was like, bitch, I'm Shay. Okay, so before you became transgender, were you living as a gay male or were you living as straight male? So we was living as a, I was living as a cross dresser. Like I will dress as a girl, but I take my clothes off and dress back to a boy. That's a cross dresser to me. Okay, and that was at ninth grade would be like 14, 15 Yeah, about years 15 old. years old. Yeah, about, about that, yeah. So is that the age that you decided to live in your truth? Or, I mean, did you guys feel this way your whole life? Like you were born in the wrong body or... It's just something that you just decided to do once you came up a certain age. Damn, girl, you're getting personal. <laughs> but we like it. <laughs> okay, okay, bitch. Okay, so let me break it down to you. Break it down. I know, you know, we twins, so we can feel each other, emotions yeah. and every fucking thing. If the bitch get into a fight, I'm there. So let's, let's just talk about it. So I would say, I knew that this bitch was gay. And she, I knew this bitch was a gay She too. had girlfriends in school and all, but I still knew it. So I would say more so six, seven, and eight. We was always around females. Our life was always yeah. around females. So I felt it. I never liked to be with the guys, and I know she didn't like to be with the guys. And we will always see. Like I would always say to myself, "Damn, he look good." But I was always confused about the shit. This was sixth grade. Then seventh and eighth, after the whole damn school questioning our sexuality, right. it was just like, okay, when well, we turn into ninth give, grade, let's give a breakdown. Cause mine started in motherfucking first grade with the boy from my motherfucking hood. Oh, period. Yeah, I had a girlfriend and I was with him. So I was a cutty bitch. bitch. I was a player. I was a player bitch. I played bitch. Yeah, so um, it started when I was in first grade. I was dating this guy and I had a girlfriend and a guy. He had like a basket. And he was like, this our baby. And like, he like threw me down. And I was like, damn, nigga, I think I like this yeah, shit. Yeah. But I turned out to this bitch, though, like, when it was like recess and shit, I gotta hide and shit. Like, when I'm with him, I gotta hide. When I'm with her, I'm like, fuck. So it started for me when I was like in like first grade. 
Like, I knew this shit. Like, I used to do everything. Like, curry my fucking bags like this and shit. Walking down the yeah. fucking street. So. So, okay. So, basically, you just knew your whole life. Yes. yes. That, that, was, y'all basically, were, that y'all were. Yes. Different. Yes. So, okay. Um, next question. Who was the first to come out as being... <clears throat> gay me i was the you? yeah i was the fucking first one i came out i was like bitch it's me and like, this was in ninth grade yes no okay so we both was transgenders in ninth, ninth grade, grade but yeah. i came out as like to my family because they didn't know when i was like in like third no when i was in like fourth grade i had came out to my family as i was gay a gay male but i was still hiding it to like other people like the world who you know really didn't know yeah so how did your family feel when you came out to them? Oh, them bitches discrimination. Oh, them bitches discrimination. I should have got an apartment off them bitches. Yes. I should have yes. got a bitch. I should have oh, called oh. the police. I need a psychiatrist, bitch, because I'm going through shit. I need to take motherfucking mental pills, bitch. Every motherfucking thing. Yes. Them bitches like, oh, no, they get... Bitch, they act like I fucking murdered a yes. bitch. Excuse me, girls. I think they was just more so mad of because it was like, maybe they was probably gay and they was probably scared to come out. But yes. my dad, excuse me, my dad said that his friend said, out of the twins, one of the twins gonna be gay. Like, when we was young, my dad told me that. Like, when we was, like, a couple of months, my dad told me that his friend said that. Like, yeah. his friend was like, out of one of the twins, your twins gonna be gay. And then my dad was like, no, they not. That bitch put a curse. The bitch put a curse on me. So. <laughs> the bitch put a curse. Okay. We gotta find so, that bitch. <laughs> y'all are, y'all is up to that. So, okay, so, you guys... Pretty much both decided to live this lifestyle. Would you say that one twin had more influence on the other twin to be that way? Or did you guys both just feel that way and one just had more nerve than the what, other? Okay. What I what I think more so of is more so that Shay was always out the most extra one and everything. So I was kind of like scared to hide what that I want to be out because I wanted to be like Shay so bad because Shay came out first and she was so comfortable and I knew that's something I wanted to do but I was so scared because I was like I know they're gonna judge her but it's like damn they're gonna judge me too because she going through it so then I ended up coming out with her so we both can go through the shit together I was like bitch because you gonna be in that box by yourself bitch I'm out the box <laughs> cool, 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 cool. so how did you guys, since you guys came out together, how did you handle the scrutiny and the bullies and the things that came along with coming out? So, like, describe a day-to-day walking in the hallways of ninth grade. Faggot! Okay. Faggot! You gay! Faggot! Yes, I'm right at faggot walking I'm down like, the hallway. Yes. Oh, oh, no. Nah. I'm not standing. I'm like, bitch, I'm human just like you. Or I'm like, oh, who he talking to? Because I smack the shit on him because I'm, the, yeah, I'm that bitch to fuck with. You, what, bitch? What? And, like, so, like, we had to deal with it, like, in school. You know, in class, like, boys, you know, girls in it. So, boys don't want to sit by, like, a transgender or, like, gay people. They be like, oh, no, I'm not sitting right there. And I be like, okay, go sit somewhere else. Excuse me, girl. And then it was more so of the teachers. Like, we had to let the teachers know. Bitch, call me star. Bitch, call me shit. One of of the bitches was being messy, kept calling us uh, our real name. And I had to call that bitch his real name. He ain't like his real name to be called. He wanted us to call him by his last name. So, Mm -hmm. we started calling him by his... First name, you want to be messy and call ball. First name, I should have got a apartment off that bitch too. <laughs> yeah, but it more so did hurt on the real side to see how the world is actually yeah. is. That because somebody want to live their lifestyle, you want to come off at them different because that's just how we choose to live. I'm like, damn, should I sit right here in this seat by him or what? Bitch, he might say something. We're going to be fighting. He might like get a, up. We <laughs> might be fighting like a motherfucker in this class room. <laughs> so, okay. So, what age did you both have your first? male male sexual encounter like what age did you guys I well what age did you guys lose your virginity how about that and was it to a woman or was it to a man probably when I was three it's like nah I probably lost my like honestly when I was maybe in the fifth or sixth grade like around that time period I can remember was it it was a male it was a male it was a male um he fucked me real good and <laughs> like I was like okay I'm the bitch and I like this in shit in fifth grade how fifth old are grade. you in fifth grade like I don't know we was young yes. fuck we probably was like what eight seven six yes. five, probably six, about so was this guy yeah. the same age as you but you just come to be he, he was like a little older what's a little older like he was like what 19 or 20 he that's was like 19 little. or 20 mm-hmm. and you were 7 mm-hmm. so that's not a sexual encounter that's molestation right right but I mean I liked him and stuff like that so 
More so, she was lying about her age. That's what it was. Yeah, you I, know, was lying, I was lying about my, lying about my right, age. Hold on. You can't lie about your age at seven years old, and he's 19. Yeah, I was lying about Because so, I looked, so always looked, looked let's, let's Let's get into this. Yes. So, basically, you are telling me that at the age of seven, you are molested by a man. I mean, I'm not going to say molested. That's what it is. Because, I mean, I wanted to talk to him, and I was lying about my age How telling him I was older. How did you meet this person? Um... One day, like, I was walking home, and he was, like, behind me. And, like, we was just, like, talking, and I just, you know, of course, I was gay as shit. Like, you know, switching, doing all the standing third. And I was like, you're so handsome. Like, basically, like, flirting with him. Like, you're so handsome, and, you know, this standing third. And then I start asking, like, would you ever talk to, like, like, have you ever dealt with, like, a gay person and stuff like that? And then he was like, um, no, I never, but I would like to try. And he was like, how old are you? And I was like... Oh, I'm 14. I was like, how old is you? He was like, I'm 19. He was like, he was 19 or 20. I can't remember. But he was like, um, I would like to try. And so that's when we had like went like behind my house. And it was like woods like back there. And not like in the woods, but we like had sex. I kind of liked it. At seven years old. Yeah. Does your mom know this? No, that's not her business to know. Right. Does everybody know this? It doesn't no, that's matter. Not, that's right. not her business it's to know. Like, I can stuff. shut to my fucking self. So, do we that's know who she fucked at 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11? I don't want to know the bitch fuck. Nobody. Oh. Yes. Okay, so what age were you? I would say probably about 12 or 13. 12 or 13. Yeah, the guy was... Was it with a male or a female? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I tried it with a bitch, but I couldn't get hard. Period. That's it. But when I got with a man, it was like something about the man that was just like... like Ugh. The way they sag their fucking dick print. Like, yes. I'm not even gonna lie. I even fucked the bitch when I was in high school. Like, in my next door neighbor house. Like, real <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, real yes. shit. Yes. Real yes. shit. Yes. Bitch, you I was walking out my fucking house. You told me. You thought you got the I bitch pregnant. That bitch. I thought I had that bitch pregnant. She was like, don't nut at me. And I'm still nutting in the bitch. But I was like, after that, I got up. I was like, okay, I got tracks and I got nails. I feel so fucking weird. Like, now I feel gay. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna knock that bitch teeth out. Wow. The bitch yeah. was a freak too. She was like, can I sit on you? I was like, bitch, what? Like, lay down on your back, bitch. <laughs> yes. But it was weird. Oh my God. So, we're going to talk a little bit about your dating life. Okay. Of course. Right? So, you did touch on the fact that you slept with a woman. Yes. Before. So, have you ever, like, considered dating a woman? Or have you ever dated a woman? Like, either one of you guys? Or if I would... I have to be off some meds. Or a check have to be involved. A bitch can get my motherfucking shit hard. And that's it. But no, seriously, I have dated when I was high in my sexuality, I was dating women. Like I had like two girlfriends. Across a uh, tier. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch! I was dating I was dating another girl too. I was dating two girls that what? She should have said that. I dated two girls that what? <laughs> Just dating two girls, and I was dating two girls. And it was like, she look at me, she look at me like this. Yo, what are you doing? I'm like, bitch, you what? <laughs> and the bitch turned me off for women. But no, I was dating two girls. That I, was, <laughs> but I was run like, from her. I was, bitch, I was like, what if I wake up? Like, wake up, baby. She's like, yeah. But no, seriously, I you know um was dating a girl, two girls to have my sexuality, and we was like in probably like probably like a month of relationship like we didn't even last that long i was like thank you bitch you was just my cover up anyway okay so women are out of the picture yeah, yeah women, are women have always been out of the picture yeah, yeah. okay so wait who um, is woman so how long do you because you guys obviously look just like women right you know it's, it's every every feature every characteristic is a woman so i'm sure that straight men gay men approach you all the time yes. of course. how long do you date a man let's say he's a straight male and he thinks that you are a woman mm -hmm. before you tell him that you're transgender well to be honest with me and i'm gonna keep it short sweet and simple is that if i meet a if i meet a man while i'm out and once i get into my comfort if i'm dancing the guy get up on me that's different you know we dancing but if I'm out and a guy get my number, when I get in my comfort zone far as home, I let him know right then and there, like, hey, I'm trans. Most time, nine times out of ten, the guys say, oh, that's no problem, cool, you beautiful, I didn't know. Or they be like, nah, you still beautiful, but I'm not cool with it. So with me, I, okay, so if I meet him at the club and we talking, I might wait a couple of days, you know, to tell him that I'm a transsexual. 
And if I meet him online, I probably won't tell him for like a year. Because I'm just talking to him because I'm not, I gotta see how his personality is because that's none of his fucking business for real. I mean, but I don't link up with him until I tell him, but I wait a long time to tell him because sometimes we don't even last the talking because his ass can't keep a fucking conversation and I hate a little weak bitch like that. So, okay. So, you said you'll make him wait like a year before you yes. tell him that you're a woman. So, like, what percentage of men actually stay with you after they find out that you're not actually a woman? 99.9999, about to be 100% of the motherfuckers. Really? Stay with me. Look, just like when they say you beautiful, you everything in a woman, you soft, look like a woman. Sex feel great. Yes. Well, technically she hadn't had sex with them yet. Right. So, did you guys ever have sex with somebody before revealing that you were trans and they didn't know? Yes, I yes, I tried I it. She's okay. a manipulator. So I t- okay, so I was like, okay, that's fucking. How does that? Work? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. So what I do is, you keep your shit in the front, and you just like you. I tell him, you know, I'm on my period and stuff like that, and I'm like, and he'd be like, damn, I really wanna, you know, fuck, and I'm like, okay, that's that's fuck. I'd be like, just fuck me in my butthole. I'm on my period, and he'd be like, okay, so he'll put the condom on. I'll pull my pants. Midway, halfway, yeah. and just let him fuck me. He'd just be moaning, and I'd just be like, You liked it? And he'd be like, Yeah. And then, so I did it first, and then I was like, Stop, you should try to do it. And that's what she tried. <laughs> and I, and this, I did I it said, I would twice. never do it again. And I did it twice, and I said, Oops. I felt really horrible about it. And I just, I just kept Did you ever tell the guys that you were really men? Oh, they, they no. still no. right now um, thinking that you're women. Yeah, they think I'm a woman. So what do you think their reaction is gonna be when you tell when they act, this comes out? And they the, the nigga probably fucking he knew. Probably, he, he probably, probably knew. already. I already know he, he probably, probably fucking. Knew. I don't know. He was hard as a motherfucker. Like. Like. So you guys still have your penises. You still get an erection. So how do you hide that erection when you're having like when you're doing that? Keep your shit in the front. Yeah, just keep it. In, just well. So if you if you got it like tucked, like mine's be tucked. So it'd be like I'd be squeezing it real tight, but you could barely see it because my pants is midway, the lights is off, it's dark. Yes. And he just, you know, make me. sure the shit dark. So are you guys currently talking to anybody right now that does not know that you're trans? Yes, absolutely. I'm not. Everyone in my phone knows. Absolutely, I'm talking. I'm having conversations. You know, texting people. <laughs> yes, bitch, absolutely, like, yes. bitch, proud of bitch. I no, because it's not their business to fucking know. But I don't it, think you so should know. Why do you feel that it's not their business? Because. You on a dating website or you somewhere you want to talk to me, we're going to have a fucking conversation. When I feel like I'm comfortable with telling you I'm a transsexual, if I feel like our conversation is getting somewhere, because you might see me out. You might say, oh, fuck no, bye, da, 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 da. You might see me out. And then you might be telling everybody I'm a fucking transsexual. That's a good point. So I got to make sure you cool and everything because I don't like everybody to know my fucking business. That's not these fucking messy men. Hell no. But bitch, no is out. So... Do either one of you have a boyfriend at the moment? Are you guys both single and dating? I'm, I'm, see, I'm seeing niggas. I'm seeing, like actually seeing. So you have, <laughs> you're in a relationship. Not in a relationship, I'm just seeing a couple of dudes. See how I go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to see how she go. See how I go. Right, see how I go. Fuck. Okay, okay. See if they can make me sizzle. So right now, like you guys pop. consider yourselves <laughs> transgender. But have you guys gone through any steps to try to change yourself other than the hair and the makeup and the clothing? Yeah. To change yourself to, like, as far as, like, any surgeries or anything along the lines of that? Bitch, I don't think I'd be sitting right here in this motherfucking chair if I wasn't. Yes. Surgery is, I have actually have a meeting on the 11th to talk to the surgeon about my consultation. Then we'll definitely be scheduling an appointment three weeks after that. And I'm so excited. And I also go to name changing on the 11th. I'm so excited. So I'm in the process of getting that shit done, <laughs> but it will be done. So what surgery are you talking about? Are you talking about the removal of the oh, breast? Breast. breast. But I want I want to get my I want to get my pussy done. But I do want to have a child, but not with a bitch. I like I want to do it the other way. But like so, so I'm just surrogate? trying to wait. What's the other way? The surrogate. Like the surrogate. Or they yeah. freeze your sperm. So they can you freeze wanna, my sperm. You want to have a sur- You don't want to have sex with a woman. No. You just want to impregnate. Yes. You want to inject. Your yes. Inject. Her inject my shit up into the little bitch. Excuse me, girl. I think I can do it if the bitch put on a mask and turn around. If the bitch turn around and put on a mask, I can do it. 
Now, if that bitch take that mask off, my shit fall out, I might knock the bitch out. Nah, Pretty. I ain't with that shit. I ain't gay. I'm straight. No, I might. Strictly I might dickly do bitch. That. I don't know what the fuck wrong with this bitch. I'm strictly dickly. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to go through the process to legally change your names? Yeah. Yes. So what What are your birth names? Ken, my name is Keenan Wynn. Mine's is Kevin Delonte Wynn. Okay, and you're going to change your names to... Star. Wynn. Yeah. And Star. mine's going to be Michelle Jewel Wynn. Michelle Jewel Wynn. I haven't thought about another name yet. So where did you guys get these names? And how long have you had these so, names? Oh my God! So I used to have like a fake Facebook, and I seen these and this girl like I just seen this girl like name and stuff, and her name was like, um, look, it was like lay something, but it had a like a M, like it had like a like a little M in it or something, a M, and so I was like, and I was just like practicing names. I was like, Michaela, Malayla. I think her name was like Malayla or something like that. I was like Michaela, Malayla, Michaela. Bitch, I like Michelle. That's my motherfucking name. Boom. And I got, I more so got my name of, just out of the air. I was just like, Star. I was just playing around with names. You know, you just start playing around names. Do you want to be Star? Do you want to be Jasmine? I was trying to think of a, a name that nobody would really have. So, Jasmine, Kayla. Yeah. I was more so like that too. I don't want to be like, I just want to be the only name. Because every time when I tell men through my name, they be like, oh my God, it match your face. Like, you so pretty. I never yes. heard that name before. Your name is unique. I like that shit. So what does your mother call you? You hoes don't steal it. Um, it depends. She, it depends. So sometimes she might call us our real name, but most of the time, like definitely, if we got like some like men over, like our friends or like men that we chilling with, she makes sure she say she, her, hers, because I told her I'm getting an apartment off her ass if she keep playing. You keep saying that. What does that mean? It mean I'ma tell the people. I'ma go to court. I'ma take her to court. Call the police. Get it. Uh. Found some shit with her and tell her that I feel sexually assaulted. Um, I'm going through shit. I'm going to mental shit. I need to go see help. I need every motherfucking thing. And they gave me an apartment off her ass just for her doing that. Saying that shit. More so, too. they get an apartment. You get an apartment off somebody. She's saying it. Five, somebody disrespecting you for your gender. For your gender. Uh -huh. That's a that's hate. That's you a hate know. crime. So her ass going to jail. I'm getting an apartment. However, as far as getting an apartment, she have to. Uh, like touch her physically. I'm gonna say she hit me. Her. Oh, trust me. I'm gonna say she hit me. I'm gonna just say, mom, hit me real quick. Touch my neck. Let me see some. She ain't know I'm filming. Got her ass. Boom. There it is. Call the police. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, and we're going to just to kind of get just a little little icebreakers to kind of get up to know a little bit more of your personality. What makes you guys alike? What makes you guys different? Because even though you are twins and you are one right. I'm sure you guys still have a lot of differences. So who is the biggest bitch? I'm the biggest bat that bitch. bitch. I'm the biggest bitch. Why is she the biggest bitch? That bitch is nasty and sassy. If, if it's no, bitch. if it's not her way, then there's no way. But the bitch got me fucked up because I'm the older twin. I came out one minute before this hoe. It was me. I'm still the biggest came bitch. Who's the biggest whore? Her. She get the award. It's I like she fucked them out almost a hundred men. Yeah. But they all had condoms, so it doesn't matter. Who's the sweetest? Me. Star is like the, uh, the sweetest a little bit. I am. I'm the sweetest. Who's the sneakiest? This bitch sneaky. No, you sneaky. No, this bitch sneaky. No, bitch, you're sneaky. She's so sneaky. is it like the good twin and the bad twin? Yeah. Yes! Uh, no, I'm only bad, bad when, shit, when shit comes down to the fucking fan. If boys when hit the fucking fan, that's when I go banana. So if... Somebody had to wear the halo and somebody had to wear the devil ears. Who would it be? I would wear the halo. I'll take the, the devil ears. I'm the bitch anyway. So that bitch. I'm that bitch anyway. I'll take the devil ears. Boom, boom, boom. Who's the most fashionable? Mm, it's kind of weird. Like, as looking, like as looking for outfits and stuff, because we both dress alike. So, as looking for outfits. Like, who's the most fashionable? Star, like the star. I'm going to say star for us, like that. Because I like wearing, like, slutty clothes, yeah. like stuff to show my ass. Yeah. And, Make my ass but look plumped up. But, excuse me, girl. But now we get to a point far as we can just, like, yeah, excuse queen. me, girl. Yeah, so, you know, we could do that. And yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. she's been a bitch. <laughs> she's been a bitch. You see what I'm saying? She's been a bitch. 
as far as we just now getting to where's though we can kind of like come together when it's come to outfits outfit and stuff because I'll yeah. be liking some shit that she want to wear. She don't like shit that I want to wear. Hope shit. Yes. So we just do. She order that one and I, I pick one and then we go back and like yes. we both pick. And I'm when we got put the outfit on, I might be talking shit about her outfit that I put on and I'll be rolling my fucking eyes, but I'm still wear it. I still wear it. I still fucking wear it. Did she go to sleep on us? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, I did not. Oh. Okay, so. Skin for me, girl. Angel twin, devil twin. I want to touch back on one question that I, I kind of want to backtrack a little bit. That's when we were talking about the uh, sex change yes. scenario. So, to my understanding, you both want to get your breasts done, but you want to keep your penises? Yeah, I do. I so really want to keep your penis oh forever? Um, it's a question. But right now, I really just want to just focus on up here and just leave this alone right now. You know, just kind of I like, want to do both. Like, I want this shit to go. But I want a child on my own. Like, I want a baby that's my... I mean, I don't have a problem with adopting a baby and stuff like that. I don't have time for adopting. Too much paperwork. So, what would that do to your sex life? Because you're... You would no longer have your male genital if you mm. take that away so right. will that change your sex life in any type of way because the men that you date now do they like to be i ain't fucking them they're just sleeping with you I, i'm just saying yeah i'm not i'm not so I'm you not just so you the bomb no more yeah i'm the bomb i'm not fucking with when i'm talking so about you don't reverse my fucking niggas. at all no i don't want verse no I fuck excuse them. me I'm bitch woman. i think worse though is that what about you the men more so like us with the penis, of course. I mean, if they want a pussy, if they want a pussy, they go to a real bitch. But obviously, they want a trans woman with titties and a dick. But that's not true all the time because you know what I'm saying. Like you know, Swinging. they be like, they be like, they, you look so, <laughs> you look so fucking good. You know, and as a fucking woman, they just want yeah. you right there and there. They don't give a fuck if you got a dick, pussy, or what. You know what I'm saying? Because you look so fucking like it's like damn. Yeah, they want you look so, so fucking good looks too. So do you think that? trans women should have their own gender category like like how you have you have a male you have a female and then you have a transgender so do you think that that should be something that's implemented like a chick with a dick but like you get what i'm saying yeah. okay so i think so but then you still have to go back to the world about discrimination you do a job application and say female male female transgender they gonna cut the transgender out like, oh no, we don't want to hire them. Versus you go in. And I think it should my just be ID, female. Yeah, female, female, say female, male, so female. Well, now on job applications, they have you. You don't have to state your gender yeah, if you, you don't. don't want to state your gender. Like you can say other, or you can say not applicable. Right. You know, so like with the world changing, do you think that people are more accepting of trans and your lifestyle now in comparison to when you guys were? Teenagers in high just school. Just a just a penny. Yeah, just a penny. I'll get them, but I just mean, a penny. A penny could just drop on the floor. Just a penny. Yeah, just a penny. It's people still out here that discriminate. Yeah, because I know more so jobs people. now. Though I can't lie, they will hire. You know, they will hire you if they see that you want to work. If they see that trans woman want to work and gays want to work, they'll hire you. But it's also. But I feel like if some of them ugly, they ain't gonna hire. Yeah, if they coming in, because I know a couple who didn't get hired. And I was like, bitch, I know the reason, but they shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you should have touched up. <laughs> no, you should have touched up, bitch. But no, they shouldn't do that. Yes. That's wrong as fuck. They want the money so they can help their fucking self out. Right. Come That's on, I don't mind helping them, but bitch, damn. Fuck. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, so what should the world expect from the Wayne Twins? What are... Like, what, what do you want to, what do you want to, five years from now, where do you see yourself starting? Um, I would say I see myself mainly on reality TV, um, doing a lot of club, um, hostings, modeling, um. I see, excuse me, girl. I see my motherfucking self in Hollywood, okay? In a big ass house. Acting and movies. Oh my god, I want to be a Tyler Perry movies. I want to be in like so many fucking movies. Like you know, I want to yeah, Tyler Perry jump movies. fucking cars, ride cars. I want to do all this shit in a motherfucking thirty billion dollar motherfucking house, six door car, all that, six door truck, bitch, all that, twelve door garage. 
Bitch, 20. Fuck that. My six don't call. Go out my and my, oh, and my pet. My pet gonna have a garage. Is your pet gonna have a car soon? Yes. I get my pet a car. What kind of pet? Um, I just want a squirrel. <laughs> I want a squirrel. Let my squirrel run a motherfucking car. She run a squirrel. So, yeah, I take a Yorkie. You know, the Yorkies are really cute. Them bitches just bipolar, so you can't have me. Fuck it. I let my pig drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, today, you basically came out to the world and told the world, this is me. I'm transgender. This yes. is who I am. So, how do you think? the world is going to react to you now now that you have came out and let everybody know who you are what you are unapologetically are you prepared for the backlash that's going to come to that because now everybody is going to know worldwide that the wind twins are the world's i want to say first ever twins. that i've heard of transgender twins like it, it answers the question scientifically because most people when they when they're trans they say I was born in the wrong body so a lot of people are like how can you both be born in the wrong body right. so do twins genetically share that connection so deep even on down to their sexual orientation even on down like you both came out and said we both were born male but we feel like we should have been born women we both were born in the wrong body like right. i've never heard right. anything like that happening before uh -huh. so you guys are going to touch the 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 minds of so many different people and you're gonna have so many different opinions and so many right. different reactions and reference to this how are you going to handle the the backlash, the positive, the negative, like how are you how are you gonna handle it moving forward now that everybody knows you guys have came out, you can't hide behind the fact that you're women anymore. Now everybody knows what you are. So what now? Well first and foremost I'll say she got me a support and I have her a support. That's like the biggest, you know, thing right there. And for two, tell them bitches come on. I'm not even gonna entertain the fucking negativity. Them bitches ain't probably bumps come as bitches. You probably know, got one fucking pack of hair in there, motherfucking. <laughs> I'm not entertaining them broke bitches. I'm all about motherfucking money, bitch. And I'm all about okay, I'm with the positive shit. So if you ain't with us, get the fuck going. I don't give a fuck. And, and, and all I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, all we you gonna have stupid people. Yeah, people gonna hate. You have the people that say it, but then you also oh, gonna have the people that say. Both y'all go that way. Da, da, da. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. That you shit don't hurt me. Yeah. That shit don't hurt my motherfucking feelings. Like when people say negative shit, it just make me like it's just so funny because it's just I just be cracking up laughing like oh my god like they funny as shit like is it it's not gonna hurt my face like, oh whatever like no bitch like come on I'm new to, to me I'll say excuse me girl to me I'll just say that. It's the first ever, so a lot of people should say something negative, because how did y'all both, how did y'all both decide? Bitch, go back and go watch the tape. Go watch the tape, bitch, and we just told you how the fuck we decide that we both are trans. Duh. Okay, so how does the world go about seeing more of the Wing Twins? Like, how do we get into your lives like I'm, I'm sure the world will want to go come along with you on right. these experiences when you change your name when you get your your boob jobs when you take it to the next steps as follow as far as following your modeling career and the, the hurdles that come along with that as far as your acting career and the hurdles that come along with that like how do we stay tuned to the one okay, you stay tuned one is our Instagram which is one twins official and then two is our YouTube channel we just started doing the YouTube, so we'll definitely be uploading a lot of videos of us now. As far as the surgery, you'll see, you'll just see everything in there. So everything about our boobs, the updates, the name changing, clubs, anything, everything will be there. The link is in the bio. The link, the link is, uh, yeah, the link is in the bio. The link, yeah, the link is in the bio um, on the YouTube for our YouTube channel, so you can subscribe <coughs> and look at our YouTube channel. Excuse me, girl. And I just really want to say this for anyone who's going through, you know, mental breakdowns and anything yeah. that is hard for them, you know, just to come out, people getting, a lot of things is going on in the world now, you know, I know a lot of people is hiding their truth, so anytime you're going through something, just 
you know, think about us that we saying we love you, we here for you, we yeah. care about you. Hit our DMs, we'll definitely respond, show you our love, you out, support, yeah, help you out, help you and stuff Because like we know it is like it, it's it, hard. It's hard. It is definitely if you ain't got no one, you yeah. know, to really like support you. Yeah. Like then you guys have each other. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, we got each other. Happen. Some people, yeah, some people ain't got like no one. Some people want to mm -hmm. kill themselves, so, hanging yeah. there and stuff like that. Shit, like that shit is really fucking sad. And we that have shit each other, so we can. Cry. You know, like kind of like people shouldn't judge, hug each other, Can't you know, be there for one another. But you know, it is hurtful how the world is, and that's yeah. how it will always be. You know, hopefully, yeah. we can make a change of it. But especially when you're going through something, please just think about us. We and we're thinking you. about you too because we know it is it yes. is sad not to have no one. You know, it really is. That's fucked up. Well, so hopefully in the future, maybe you guys could do some type of outreach for people that are going through what it is yeah. that you're going through. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, they can follow you at One Twins. Is it the One Twins official or One Twins official? It's One Twins official. One Twins official on Instagram. The link to your YouTube channel will be in your bio. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure bio. you guys will probably be doing lives periodically. Yeah, yeah we And things live. along the lines of that to where fans can interact, yes. you know, back and forth with you. And, yes. and, you know, people that are going through things that you guys may be going through, I'm sure that you guys will be able to help them through yeah, that right. process because look at you guys and look at how far you have right. right and just for that and just for everything we've covered today we will be start doing a 50 dollar giveaway it could be a gift card or it can be um fashion over because that's what we always order from so we'll just start you know giving back to the people that support us yeah all that's right dope. ladies well i think you guys are dope i think the world is gonna think you guys are dope i can't wait to see what is to come for the wind swings because i'm intrigued and thank you for your time today thank, thank you, you guys. Guys.